Welcome to the official IBU press conference after the women's uh, sprint in Contiolati. Uh, the victory went to Hanna Oeberg. Hanna, it's your uh, first sprint victory in a World Cup. Um, it looked like a perfect competition for you. How was it out there? Yeah, um, I'm really happy about my, my race. I went pretty hard out from the, from the start. Uh, with this track, it's pretty special with uh, a bit of flat before the first long downhill. So I wanted to, I w didn't want to give away any seconds on the first flat part. Um, so I started pretty hard and uh, I knew I was good into the race when I heard that I took the lead at the first intermediate time. And um, yeah, I, I felt pretty confident today, uh, both in the skiing and, and on the shooting range. I, I did have a good recovery since uh, yesterday. And it was a great start to the season for you with those two competitions, uh, because in the sprint on Thursday, you will, uh, for the first time, you'll wear the yellow bib. What does that mean for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, it will be uh, so much fun. Uh, yesterday was the first time I, I did a race in the red bib and uh, I, uh, I really enjoyed it. And um, I think it, the yellow bib will look really good on our yellow suit. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the strong performance of the Swedish team uh, this this weekend and uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about how it feels to be in such a strong team and also um, what uh, part uh, uh, are the technicians doing on, on this success? Yeah, um, I was really inspired by my teammates this weekend. I mean, uh, the, the other girls did really good races uh, yesterday and uh, I was really happy for them and um, I, to see the boys uh, on the podium today as well um, it was yeah it was really inspiring and um, uh, I think we have done all a, a great job and especially all uh, people around the team with the coaches and uh, especially also the the boxers have have done a great job this week and we have had really good skis. Mm. Usually we always uh, went uh, to Östersund for the season opening. Now for the first time we are in Kontiolahti. And so how do you feel? Is it maybe easier not to compete at home when the season starts because there's less pressure and all the question marks there? Or are you a little bit sad that you say, oh, we're in such a great shape. Would be so cool to be at home. Uh, of course, it's a little bit more pressure to race at home but uh, I think we are mostly sad that we have no competitions in Östersund this year um, we really like to compete uh, at home and uh, we we often do really good races there as well so I just I think it's mostly sad that we don't get to to race at home but uh, I think we take the opportunity to do great races here <laughs> you certainly do thank you very much and congratulations again thank you and second place uh, today went to Mate Olsby Reuseland from Norway. Mate, it's your 10th uh, sprint podium overall. Um, congratulations. How important was uh, this strong performance today for you? Uh, it was a bit important because I didn't succeed at all <laughs> yesterday. I had uh, four mistakes and uh, that's uh, too much. So I was a bit nervous about the shooting before today and uh, I used a really long time in this hearing, but uh, yeah, I'm so happy and uh, relieved that uh, I got uh, 10 hits today and um, I'm really happy. So how do you react to, to such a race like yesterday with the four mistakes and, 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 and then coming back with a zero today? So, so how, how does it feel and, and what, do, what, what do you make in between those, those two competitions? Um, I have a, a mental coach uh, that helped me a lot and uh, yeah, she told me to be focused on myself and uh, just do the job and not think uh, too much about yesterday and focus on what I can do and uh, what I'm good at. And uh, I really try to just go inside myself and not focus on everything else. And uh, it's hard, and uh, but that's the part of the game in biathlon. <laughs> And generally, how, how did you get through this uh, Corona summer uh, over the last couple of months? Um, y your health was also not in the best shape, I think, over the summer, I heard. Uh, so how, how was that for you also coming here? What were the expectations for you? Uh, well, I haven't been so much with the team this year. And uh, I didn't know what to expect when I was uh, coming here. But uh, I have done a good job this year and um, the training has worked really well for me. And 
of course it is a special time and everyone is uh, yeah uh, what to say everyone is uh, scared for corona and you don't want to get it so it's a special time but i think ibu is doing a really good job and I feel really safe and I'm on trip and Kontorati is uh, it's a good place to be now and I, f I feel that uh, the whole team is doing a really good job so um, I hope this will uh, continue and uh, that everyone stay healthy. And a little bit looking into the season, um, is it this year, is it your goal to do well in the overall and to fight for the for the big globe or are you again looking more at, at the world champs and meddling there? We all remember last year you took a time out from the World Cup because you said it doesn't fit your plan. So what, what's to expect from you this season? Uh, last year was really special because, yeah, it was the world championship in Antols and uh, that, uh, that is one of my favorite places. So this year I want to go as many World Cups that I can. and. Um, it's hard to say that I will fight for the yellow bib because you don't know that before the, um, the end of the season. But I will try to, to go as many good races as possible and, and we will see in the end of the season if I am fighting for the yellow bib or not. All the best for that. Thank you very Thank much you so and congratulations much. again. Thank you. Caroline, this is your first World Cup uh, podium ever in, in an individual race. Uh, yes. Can you describe how it feels at the moment? Uh, it feels, uh, I, can't, I can't quite explain, it's just uh, when I crossed the finish line I was just happy that I still heard the third place because I, I had the third after the second shooting but I, I usually or the previous seasons I've always done really badly on the last loop but this time I had so much power and I felt so good that I just uh, I managed to keep it and I, uh, that was, I was really happy about that and happy with the zero, zero uh, clean shooting. So uh, I was just happy and uh, after a while when I understood that I, I'm keeping the third, I was just, uh, I can't explain. How bad is it when you are in the finish and then you see a couple of athletes shot, shot zero at the first shooting, like Magnussen and Blasco, yeah. and then you're in third place and you're looking at the standings. Uh, what's the feeling there? Uh, it's not fun because you don't, <laughs> obviously, you don't want anyone to miss. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want them to beat you. <laughs> so it's nerve wracking. And but it's, it's at the same time, it's a competition and it's fun to see that uh, people are doing well. and with Chloe also shooting 10 and I was just watching her ski and it's uh, everything can happen you don't know how how it goes so uh, I'm just happy that I'm able to keep the third so you are a regular starter in the Norwegian relay often on the first leg up against really strong competitors like Lisa um, and then would you say that this experience um, being a regular on the relay getting some experience there up against very strong girls did this help you to build this shape to finally make it to a podium in an individual race yes uh, i think it's really important because uh, in the individual races last year it's you can be a bit behind and you have that feeling of always being in the middle of top 30 maybe 60 uh, but in the relays you get the feeling to be with the best and uh, kind of uh, keep just be start in the mass start with those athletes uh, and I think it's mentally really important to kind of have that now I'm in the front and I'm in the lead and we have a possibility to win so I think the mind the competition mind is trained and also you, you kind of the physical that you you push yourself a bit further further so uh, it's really important to go do those relays, but we have a strong team, so it's also really important to get those relays. But I feel I've uh, I've been fighting to keep my first spots and in the first leg, that's that's my spot. So I'm going to do everything I can to keep that one. Talking about your position in this team, um, yesterday you were the best Norwegian woman in uh, place 20, and then today a podium. So how how do you see your position now, and and also what's what's your goal for the season overall? Uh, now my goal for the season was to get one spot in the top 10, uh, which I now have. <laughs> so, uh, but also I want to be more stable than I was last year. So I just want to do good races. Uh, throughout the whole season 
last year I was really good before Christmas and not as well after Christmas. So now I want to do I want to do well the entire season, uh, but also do better in the the bad races. So you can have a good uh, or you can have a bad day or a good day, but you can just the uh, the level you're on is higher. So that's my goal to just be better. <laughs> All the best for that and congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank you.